Hello, it's Greg from Hearing Products International and today I would like to show you all our products um, on our offer um, which are in our latest catalogue 2022-23 so I will follow this catalogue with all products one by one and explain how they work and what is included in the sets so stay with me and uh, let's start with the first one which is MediaTek T. Okay, so uh, let's start with page number two in our catalog. And it starts with the category personal listeners. Uh, the first uh, product is Echo MediaTek T. Uh, but before I will start, I would like to shortly tell you what is the personal listeners overall um, so I would describe this device as a portable um, solution for improving the communication um, in situation where you require enhancing conversation and reducing the background noise um, so keeping simple this device will amplify one-to-one uh, -one conversation when you're going out and about when you're going to the shop um, um, when you want to meet the friends in restaurants and you struggle to hear because of the background noise so it will cut the background no background noise and background noise but at the same time will amplify the conversation um, this product can be used by non-hearing aid users using the headset which we provide with the set or also by hearing aid users with the neck loop uh, provided. Obviously the hearing aid users must have a hearing aid with um, T function or T coil. Okay, so let's start with this, like I said, with this mini tech T first. Um, so I will show you what is included in the set. Uh, so obviously, small personal amplifier uh, with big volume buttons, um, tone control, um, switch on off, and two sockets on the top, which is headset net loop socket and microphone socket. It's battery operated, so on the back you've got small battery compartment um, where you can insert two AA batteries. In this set, you will find under chin headsets, uh, so that's for non hearing aid users. Um, you will also find the neck loop, neck loop obviously for hearing aid users with T coil function um, to protect the amplifier from the dirt and uh, other stuff you've got this pouch with the belt clipped on the back so you can clip it to the belt um, you will also receive the microphone and lid this lid is 1.5 meters long and also small microphone called stubby microphone um, and as I mentioned to um, double A batteries to power power up the amplifier. Um, so that was what is in the set, uh, and obviously instruction. Um, uh, it's packed in the small box, um, and like as I said, this will improve your communication uh, by amplifying the conversation and cutting the background noise, uh, which is very important. Uh, the product code is, for this product is 751. Uh, as I said, it's available on our um, catalog on page two to four. So you can read through all the functions um, um, or alternatively you can go to our website uh, and see about this product there. Okay, so I will go to the next one, uh, which will be Mini Tech Pro. 
Okay, so product number two. Uh, we are still on category personal listeners, so that will be page. Um, that will be on page number five and number six. Uh, MeanTech Echo MeanTech Pro. So that's the amplifier. As you can notice, it's smaller than me, Tech T. Okay, I will tell you about the all buttons and in the input soon. But first, let's start with introducing the set. Uh, similar like me, Tech T, we still have under chin headset. Included, we have slightly different neck loop with quick release neck loop, uh, and then we have exactly the same like with Mintec T microphone on lead 1.5 meter long plus small stubby microphone as well. Uh, and additionally, which we didn't get with Mintec T, we provide um, a microphone extension lead, three meters long, so that, we, that you will get in this set as well, and obviously the set of battery. Um, so that's what you will get with, 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 Mintec, T, uh, with Mintec Pro. Um, and now let's talk about the buttons and functions. So, quickly, on the back of the box, you've got a picture of the Mintech Pro with a description of all buttons and um, inputs. So let's start from from the top. On the top, you've got th one, two, three inputs. The right input is that one. Can you see that? Is headset neck loop input. So headset on a clip should be inserted to the right socket. The middle one is line input, so you can connect anything which is uh, compatible with 3.5 millimeter single jack. Uh, and the, uh, the last one is microphone. Um, you can connect our stubby microphone or microphone on lead to that, also, to that socket. Uh, this button is power on off button. So if you want to switch it on, you have to press and hold for around 3 seconds. Then the small green LED will light up. This button though is to switch between the line input and a microphone. So if both connected, because this button will only work if both connected, you, could, you will be able to switch between them. So you can, by pressing the button, you can jump to line input to activate line input, or if you want to go back to the microphone, press again and it will go back to the microphone. Uh, these two buttons are volume buttons, so plus and minus. To increase the volume, you press plus. To decrease, uh, place minus. That one, which you should be able to see, uh, it's there are nine LEDs with different colors, so. Um, blue, green, and red. When you press the plus button, the LED will increase, and we'll show you where uh, where you have the volume level. Um, so it's more digital than me Tech T. Uh, on side, you've got tone control and T coil switch. Please remember, this T coil switch is only for non hearing aid users. Um, so don't mix this coil T coil function with your hearing aid T coil function. So if you're using a neck loop, never ever uh, switch it to on position. It should be, you should not lit up. If it's red LED here, just just switch it off. Uh, okay. Um, on the back, as I said, removable removable clip, battery compartment, uh, and you have to insert. To double A battery here. And you can close it. Okay, so that's all about MeanTech Pro quickly. 
Um, so let's jump to another category, which is which are TV listeners. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so TV listeners. But before I will go to TV listeners, you might notice that on page number seven and eight, we've got Mintech Pro Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth version and also Bluetooth transmitter. Uh, unfortunately, these products are discontinued, and we do not have any uh, more Minitech Pro BT on our in our stock. However, we still have Echo Bluetooth transmitters. Uh, so, if you wish, wish to buy one, uh, just go to our website. Okay. Um, so, I won't concentrate on these products. Uh, so, let's start with uh, TV listeners first. Um, so, what is that? What are TV listeners? So, TV listeners are devices which will help you to hear TV better and amplify the sound from your TV. Um, at the same time, you could really speed, uh, switch the speakers, internal speakers off, so you won't disturb your neighbors. Um, and you can set your own volume with the small receiver, uh, so yeah, you can, you can put it higher or lower, totally up to your preferences. Um, we've got um, two types of in this catalog two types of TV listeners. Um, so let's talk about the first one, which is Radio Link 2.4G. Uh, I already made few videos about Radio Link 2.4G. So if you need more information, just go to our YouTube channel, and you will find there's few videos about this product to show you the, how to connect the product. And how this mod, this particular model works. Okay, so today shortly I will show you um, the product. So and what is included um, in the set. You obviously you get the receiver. That's a small receiver. Um, charging base. And the transmitter um, plus some accessories to be able to connect to your TV. Uh, you will also get an um, under chin headset, our standard under, under chin headset, quick release neck loop, and these cables which you will use to connect to your TV. One is optical cable, uh, so that one you will use to connect to optical output or SPDIF, depends uh, what is your name, what is the brand of your TV. Um, and also analog cables, uh, which will allow you to connect to the phonophono outputs, cards or headphone socket. Uh, you will also find in the set uh, two power adapters, one power adapter is for the transmitter, one power adapter is for the charging base plus small charging base lead, so power lead, okay? So that's what is included and obviously uh, uh, manual or instruction. Again on the back, the box you've got short description uh, about the inputs and also about uh, on the transmitter and also about the uh, buttons and function on the receiver so make sure you are familiar with the with the function there um, shortly uh, transmitter on the back of the transmitters you will find switch on off power input so power adapter will go into the socket analog input so if you use the old style TV you will probably use that one and the optical output uh, sorry input so you will connect this socket through your optical cable to your optical output on your TV so first of all TV connect should be connected to, to this transmitter and this transmitter through 2.4 gigahertz frequency will send the signal to the small uh, receiver. The receiver is battery operated. The battery is rechargeable, built-in battery, so you don't have to change it. Um, you have to just use this charger overnight 
put the receiver on charge and it will charge overnight. Okay, um, and then um, about buttons. Here the yellow one is a switch on off and also volume button, so you have dual function. To switch it on you have to roll, um, scroll up and then choose the volume which you want to set. Just below you've got uh, tone control, so you've got high, medium, low, so choose the one which you prefer. Here we've got a small LED, I'm sure you can see that. It's a green one, so to show you that the product is on. Another one is the small uh, red LED, uh, so when you put on charge it will uh, light up uh, red, and then when it's fully charged it will change to green. Um, this this button which is on the middle this is very important because this button will activate the um, internal microphone built-in microphone um, so this is very unique this product can be used at, as a TV listener um, but also as a personal listener and this is very important like I said this button is I would say game changer for some people because you can use it at home to amplify your TV but if you want to go out, if you want to amplify the conversation, uh, you don't need to buy a separate device and spend another hundred pounds. You can use this still the same product. Just take the receiver with you with Netloop or headset and you can amplify the conversation. To amplify this, this conversation, the receiver will use this very sensitive uh, built-in microphone. So that's the, the, the microphone which will take the sound um, from the outside. And here we've got small socket. This socket is for the neck loop or for, um, for the headset. Uh, so that's it. Um, it works around 30 hours with headset, up to 30 hours on one single charge. Um, it's small, very slick. You can remove the belt, belt clip and put to your pocket if you wish. Um, it also has a lanyard hook, uh, so you can attach the lanyard and put uh, on your neck if you wish. Uh, okay, so that's uh, the Radio Link 2.4G. Uh, and so now jump, let's jump to Ecolink Pro, which is the, I would say, <laughs> um, very similar product, uh, but there is a few, few, few differences which I will talk about. Okay, so Ecolink Pro. So we talk about Radiolink 2.4G, let's talk about Ecolink Pro. Uh, still the same category, so TV listeners, um, with this extra function of having a, uh, of amplifying conversation. So I would say it's TV listeners with personal, extra personal listeners function. Um, so, what is included? Um, again, small transmitter, which has to be connected to the TV. Um, receiver, very similar to Radiolink 2.4G. It's very, uh, yeah, it's the same shape really, and really the same charging base. So, for Radiolink 2.4G and Ecolink, we use exactly the same charging base. And inside the same accessories, uh, so headset, under chin headset, quick release netlock for hearing aid users with T coil, um, audio cables, which one is optical cable to connect to audio uh, optical out on your TV, and also analog cables to connect to phono phono output, SCART or headphone service. Um, plus two power adapters with power leads uh, for, to charge the receiver using the charging base and also to power, power up the transmitter. And of, obviously, instruction. So that's what you will get uh, in the set, um, 
as mentioned before, it's a similar product to Radeon in 2.4G. Um, however, there is few small differences, um, which you should know before you buy the product or before you choose which one um, you want to buy. Um, Echolink Pro is operate it operate on infrared signal, which means you have to keep line of sight between the transmitter and the receiver. So basically, the range is around 50 meters, but the receiver must see the transmitter. You cannot any, put any barrier between them. You cannot cover the receiver. You cannot cover the transmitter. Otherwise, the signal will be disrupted, uh, interrupted, and then um, you won't hear anything. Okay, so that's the first main difference uh, between the Radiolink 2.4G and Echolink Pro. Uh, Radiolink 2.4G, though, you could go to another room if you are within the range, um, because the they're using radio um, signal, so the radio signal can go through the walls, okay? So that's the main uh, difference between these two devices. So before you choose which one you're going to buy, I would, I would be 100% sure if you're okay to sit in the same room or if you want to go to the kitchen, if you want to go upstairs and if you want to still be able to hear the sound, I would go with Radio 2.4G. If it's not very important for you, if you will sit in the same room, I would go with Echolink Pro. Okay, um, so that's the first main difference. Um, few more small differences like Echolink Pro should not be used with Plasma TV. However, there is not a lot of Plasma TVs nowadays, so it's not a main issue. But if you've got Plasma, then again, I would go with Radeon 2.4G. On the other hand, if you've got a lot of 2.4 GHz um, devices around your home, then it could be, it's very unlikely, but it could be that in rare occasion, Radiolink 2.4 G can, will interfere with some 2.4 GHz pr um, devices. So if that's the case, I would go with Echolink Pro. Uh, obviously, um, in terms of price, Echolink, cheaper technology and we selling the products a little bit cheaper than Radiolink 2.4G. Um, um, in terms of microphone, both have this built-in microphone so both can be used as a TV listeners and personal listeners. Um, so I will repeat that again, you can take, you can take receiver with you if you're going out, if you're going to the shop if you're going to the post office, if you're going to the restaurant to meet your friends, you can take the receivers with you to amplify the conversation. And that is very, very unique about our products because not a lot of um, um, assisting listening devices, manufacturers um, make this possible. So some of them, they might have built a microphone but then when you're going out of the range of the transmitter, the microphone will cut, will deactivate. With our product, you still can use it and you can still use this microphone up to 30 hours on one single charge. So that's that's a really good feature and uh, really you've got two products in one device. So so, so that's, that's really amazing. A product code for Ecolink Pro is 925. Uh, if you look on our website or in the catalog, product code for Radio Link 2.4G is 924. Um, both are on the pages between uh, page 11 to 14. Okay, so have a look on the uh, catalog. If you need more information, if you need uh, more videos, again, YouTube channel, you will have more videos there. Or our website. There's there is a lot of plenty of pictures and description about them, uh, technical classification, etc. Okay, um, so that's all about TV lessons at the moment, and uh, let's go to another category, which will be induction loop systems. Our next category is uh, induction loop systems. In this category, um, you can find in our catalog two 
loop systems. One is Megaloop Pro and uh, one is uh, Megaloop. So let's start with the latest one which is Megaloop Pro. Uh, page 17 and 18. Uh, product code 910-1010-1010. Um, so this is our latest induction loop system um, this is our patented product uh, so only one in the UK uh, which has a remote control uh, so you can adjust the volume you can adjust the tone you can switch it on or you can mute through this small um, remote control um, then we have our amplifier that's the amplifier and that's a rear panel of the amplifier um, this induction loop system is compatible with um, modern UTVs because it's um, it has a digital tonal converter in it uh, so it will take the signal through digital optical outputs from your TV also coaxial outputs which is also digital and on top of that is also um, compatible with um, a little bit older TV like which has audio outputs uh, analog audio outputs so also you can find line 1, line 2 on the back and these two inputs um, you will use when you, like I said, when you want to connect to the slightly older TVs. Um, you could use SCART socket, you could use uh, phonophono audio outputs and also headphone socket. Okay, um, you also on the back you will find two microphone inputs. This microphone inputs are to use with um, our microphone on lead which we provide in the set uh, to be able to pick up any background noise so a uh, background yeah environmental sound I would say um, so if you're watching TV and you also want to know what's going on around you so you want to hear I don't know chime you want to hear your telephone uh, then this microphone will pick up this environmental sound as well um, it comes with um, all accessories which you need to set the unit up in your own, in your room. So you will get um, optical cable. Um, you will get uh, analog cables, microphone on lead, loop wire with clips so you can attach it to your skating board small stand so you can put it vertically or vertically or horizontally um, and power adapter and also small batteries triple a batteries for the remote control uh, so that comes with the set it's pretty easy to set up so basically what you need to do is connect the amplifier to uh, to the main socket using the power power supply provided and then connect the um, amplifier to your audio output on your TV um, after that you've got uh, two ports here these two ports are for uh, loop wire so you need to put loop wire or place the loop wire around your room and then connect to these two ports. After that, uh, or what will happen next, the amplifier will uh, send the current to small current to this loop wire, and this loop wire will create electromagnetic field in your room, uh, so you can uh, pick up this, or convert this electromagnetic field to the sound through your hearing aids with T coil. And that's very important and you have to remember that induction loop systems is only for people with hearing aids. 
and for so hearing aid users uh, which has T coil function or telecoil function if you don't have this function or if you are not hearing aid users induction loop systems are not um, not what you should choose then um, we would recommend a different system like TV listeners using the headset um, so yeah so that short description about our Mega Loop Pro um, it's very powerful you need 25% more powerful than the standard analog uh, Mega Loop amplifier um, so yeah so I definitely would recommend that one um, if you want obviously have a small installation in your house or in your room um, yeah and 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 use it as a hearing device um, what is advantage of having induction loop system um, you know compared to TV listeners first of all when you do the installation or after you do the installation you don't need to do anything else so once the loop is installed, once the, the wires are installed around your room, only what you have to do is just enter the room, um, switch your hearing aids to T-coil or telecoil, switch your TV on and that's it. You can straight away hear the sound through your hearing aids. Um, obviously with TV listeners, you have to wear the headset or you have to uh, wear the neck loop. Um, and you have to have the small receiver with induction loop system you don't need that you, once like I said it's installed you can forget about the system and just use it every day um, also you could um, it can be used by more than one people so you can put or many people can enter the room and enter the room and then um, all of them will be able to hear the sound um, through the hearing aids Whereas again, with TV listeners, if you've got more than one person, then obviously you need more receivers, which will be more expensive than the induction loop systems. Um, disadvantage, obviously, is that um, you have to do this um, loop wire mainly installation, uh, which sometimes it could be complicated because um, you might have some kind of furniture around your room which you have to move a little bit some people prefer to put this under the carpet so it's also another another thing which you have to you know um, lift the carpet and install the loop um, or you can as I mentioned before you can um, install the small loop wire to the skirting board but again you have to use the small clips you have to a small hammer to you know to attach the loop wire to the skating board so yeah so a little bit more um, complicated than TV listeners um, however like I said once it's installed you can forget it and, um, and that's it you can use it um, but again remember the induction loop system only for hearing aid users with T coil if you are not hearing aid users with T coil then you have to go to TV listeners, different products, okay? Uh, so that's everything about Megaloop. Um, so the next device will be our analog amplifier mag, um, standard Megaloop. Okay, so um, Echo Megaloop, it's our analog amplifier. Um, in the catalog, it's page 19 and 20. Uh, the product code is 910-1010-01 um, It's also induction loop uh, system so it works similar as a, or as a previous version of the previous version, the latest version Megaloop Pro uh, However, um, Megaloop it's analog amplifier so it's not compatible with digital outputs uh, on your latest TVs um, it only supports the uh, analog audio so phonophono, SCART um, headphones outputs only so if you've got new modern TV I would go with Megaloop Pro
because that will be much easier for you to, inst to connect to your TV. Um, uh, so, overall the system works very similar. So again, you've got the two um, ports here for a loop wire, so you have to again put the wire, loop wire around the room, then connect to these two ports, doesn't matter which way. Um, power adapter, as I said before already, uh, audio inputs, analog audio inputs. Gain control is for um, amplify or putting more current to the to the wires to the loop wires so you will get a little bit more uh, or louder sound and two microphone inputs p and one the same socket which we use for mega loop pro um, that's for the microphone on lead so if you want to hear environmental environmental sound then you can use this too p is 6 db stronger than one so if you want a little bit stronger signal um, use the P socket. Uh, the front panel you've got background noise here, low, normal, high. This background noise uh, can be used with the microphone only, so it will reduce the background noise when you're using the microphone. We've got volume control manual one and also tone control. Uh, one headphones output so you can if you wish you want uh, connect additional standard headphones using the 3.5 millimeter jack. A uh, red LED, which is current LED, it will flicker, it will like blink if you've got a current uh, goes to the loop wire. So it, it's like indicator that everything works fine, I would say. And the power, which is green, plus the power button. Uh, it's a metal box, so it's very uh, strong. Um, it's uh, when people use this kind of amplifiers, I would say more in commercial buildings, more in receptions, um, maybe churches where really you don't need um, optical uh, connections um, So, or when you use only the microphones. Um, so then this, this amplifier is really good choice. It's, it's very um, strong box um yeah it's and uh, yeah, you can use it for for years it won't happen anything with it it's very sh um, i would say um resistant for for any damages from outside so yeah um definitely that one is good choice if you want to connect only only microphone or only analog uh, inputs um what is included in the set is the same like we had before except that this model uh, is not coming with the remote control so you don't have any remote control with it you've got loop wires, power adapters, cables, uh, analog cables obviously not optical um, and a, a microphone only okay so that's all about Megaloop Pro uh, sorry about Megaloop um, and the next, uh, next product which I will talk about uh, will be chime, uh, chime range which is our alerting devices okay so I said alerting devices but uh, not really next um, category I'm sorry for my mistake my next category which is speech amplifier um, so slightly different category compared to TV listeners and induction loop systems because that will amplify your voice okay um, so we got uh, page number 2324, product code 801-1000-03, uh, um, and we've got Echo Voice EV7. Uh, so Echo Voice EV7 is our next uh, generation of speech amplifier. Before we, we had EV4, EV5, EV6, and now we've got EV7. Um, Compared to previous models, we improved the amplifier in case of battery because we use 4000 milliamperes, uh, ampere hours, uh, so really two batteries um, inside, so up to 34, uh, sorry, 38 hours on one single charge, which is amazing, really. 
um, small amplifier uh, with simple functions like microphone input, auxiliary input, uh, switch on off and volume in, um, with this small rotating um, potentiometer. Uh, okay, you've got small LED here to show you that um, it's working. It's charged by power adapter which we provide with USB-C. Okay, and as I said, 38 hours on one single, single charge. Um, in this set you will find the boom microphone. Okay, so boom microphone goes this way. And then make sure the microphone is pointing to your to your mouth. So when you speak, it picks up the sound very well. Um, we also provide transdermal microphone. This microphone you should put on your neck. And then when you speak, it picks up the sound through your skin. Uh, this, mic this microphone is also provided. Um, with this uh, with this product, um, so that's a box. It comes with the nice plastic box, uh, and inside instruction. Obviously, as I said, two microphones, amplifier, um, power adapter, charging uh, power cable, small patch lid, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter male jacks. Um, like a belt, so you can you can uh, you can attach this to the amplifier using these hooks here, um, and that's it. So that's uh, our speech amplifier, which is our latest one. Um, you can find it on our website as well. Um, if you need more technical information. Uh, just go to our website www.heforyou.com. Okay. Um, so the next one which I will talk about is um, portable induction loop systems, um, which is Portal Loop. Um, I don't have it here. However, Portal Loop is mainly based on our standard Mega Loop amplifier. Uh, the page 2728, the product code 9109091010 sorry, uh, 9091010-01. So page 2728. Um, inside you will find our standard mega loop amplifier, um, plus extra additional accessories, so like a loop pad, extra cables, uh, which makes this system more portable. So, if you want to use it in community halls or if you've got a meeting where um, some people might attend with, which has a problem with, or which are hearing impaired, um, you can take the system with you and um, temporarily install it in the room um, to, to, you know, to amplify uh, your voice for people with hearing impaired. Impairment. Okay, uh, it comes with few other accessories like extra cables, also microphone on lead. Um, but like I said, for more information, please go to our website. Um, and another another portable uh, portable system induction portable system is Echo Desk Loop. This product is on twenty on page twenty nine. Product code is nine. Zero seven dash one zero one zero dash zero one. Uh, Echo Desk Loop is strictly made to for the reception desk in the hotels, um, in the GPs. You can use it in um, in the area where you can put the desk loop on the desk in front of the um, of your customer, for example, clients or any. Um, people with hearing impairment and this product will amplify your voice when you're talking to someone and will send the electromagnetic field 
um, so the person with hearing aids with tea coil can hear better. This product Echo Desk Loop is especially useful when you've got like a screens. So when you talk and obviously you've got because of COVID we've got a lot of screens. Um, nowadays then this product definitely will help um, uh, hearing impaired people to, to you know to understand much better and hear um, the voice very clearly. Okay, but again this product is on our website. Uh, this product is uh, based on Megaloop, uh, on our standard Megaloop amplifier, so again works similar as I already explained, um, however you don't need to do any installation here. With Deskloop it's just a matter of connecting it to the main power socket, placing on the desk and that's it. Um, you can freely move from one desk to another if you wish, um, it's not complicated. Or you know you don't need an installation. Just take it to another desk, put it on the desk, connect to the power socket, and and that's it. But like I said, if you need more information, just go to our website or give us a link or send us an email. Okay. Um, and now, as I said before, we will go to alerting devices, which is Chime 300 um, range. Okay. So stay with me. I will tell you what is on our website and what is in this catalog, and I will try to explain you. Um, how the system works, okay? Alerting devices, it starts on page number 30. Uh, the first two pages, 31 and 32, includes Echo Alex smoke alarm system, which um, when I'm recording this video is not available yet to buy. Um, but hopefully soon it will be available. It's uh, smoke alarms alarm system for hearing impaired however because it's not available yet um, I will jump straight away to Chime 300 um, it's most likely that we will make another video especially for Echo Alert to explain how it works uh, when this product is available okay uh, so yeah so let's start from page number 34 which is Echo Chime 300. Okay, so Echo Chime 300 is our um, alerting system um, which will allow you to hear uh, the chime and see the chime using um, bright flash um, and also you can be alerted by the vibration. Um, so it's really good product, uh, very popular, uh, with the range up to 300 meters in the open field. Um, I, as I said, it's very popular um, due to that you can connect many different transmitters to it, which I will explain right now. Okay, so as a set, as a basic set, you will get. That's a box, uh, Echo Chime 300 doorbell. Um, so that's a basic set, and with this um, unit, you will have a small, small, portable, a little bit, I would say, um, a receiver, Chime receiver. It's battery operated with three C cell batteries. Um, with the very loud speaker up to 90 dB um, big white flash on the on the top and four different um, icons for different transmitters so in this set you will also get a small bell push which could be installed on your front door or door frame and when you press the bell push, as you can see, the bright light is, is flashing. It's only flashing now because I just choose uh, flash only. However, you could switch this small switch on side to flash and sound. So then when I press... You 
can hear the loud uh, melody. Um, by the way, there's 32 melody to choose, so you've got a whole variety of different tones, length of the melodies and, and, and sounds. And the last switch on side is um, sound only. So when I press now, you've got only sound, okay? Uh, if you want to stop uh, the melody of flash or chime, then on the back you've got reset button. When you press this reset button, the chime will stop um, immediately. Um, so that's when you will buy the uh, standard set, so the uh, bell push, um, receiver, and obviously with all batteries which you need to connect the unit. Um, it comes, uh, the, the, the bell push is already paired with the, with the system, so you don't have to do any pairing or anything like that. Okay? Uh, just matter of putting battery in and installing um, the unit. Receiver can be installed, can be um, attached to your wall using the screws which we also provided, uh, or it can just stand on the table uh, like that. Uh, and um, bell push again, you can use double tape, uh, double sided tape which we provide, or you can use small screw to install it. And most of people use the double sided tape too, it's much easier and quicker. So that's a um, basic set which you will get um, when you buy uh, this model on our website. Okay? Um, on top of that you can, you can add more transmitters to be paired with this chime. And on page number 38 and 39, you've got sound sensor transmitter and telephone signal transmitter. So let's start with sound sensor maybe. So this product is made to pick up the sound from, let's say, intercoms, from your landline uh, phone, if you've got speaker there. Um, so it will pick up the sound from some kind of devices, like I said, intercoms for example, through this small microphone, and then this transmitter will send the signal to the receiver. Um, at the moment I think it's switched off. Yeah, it's switched off, um, otherwise when I talk it could um, um, interrupt our video. So, but basically very useful if you've got a special intercom. So people install this unit near the intercom and microphone um, with double-sided tape uh, which we also provide. They can stick the microphone on top of the speaker. Or you can do exactly the same with telephone, with your landline phone. Uh, stick this to your speaker and when someone is ringing uh, this unit will send the signal wirelessly to a chime receiver to alert you, okay? Um, another transmitter is telephone signaler. Um, the idea is the same, it will send the signal to the receiver. Um, when uh, someone is ringing you on a line line. But you have to remember you need uh, to be able to use it, you need to have a BT socket. So this Converter goes to your BT socket, and then the smaller one, the smaller output, you have to connect our tele the telephone signaler, and your landline phone will go to this bigger BT uh, socket. So when the telephone rings, um, it will activate this this transmitter, and this transmitter will send the signal to the chain 300. So it will flash, it will, it will create this or uh, generate this uh, loud uh, sound to tell you that someone is ringing you, okay? Um, so that's another, that's another transmitter you, which you can buy separately. When buying these extra transmitters, what you need to do is uh, to pair them with, uh, with your receiver. Um, but it's pretty straightforward, it's, uh, it's on the instruction, so you can follow the, the steps on the instruction or you can give us a ring on go 
to our website um, you know to find out how to do it pretty easy quick um, and very effective I would say um, telephone signaler I would recommend to pair with number three with number three because it's a telephone icon um, and sound sensor with number four usually people pair it with number four which is really like exclamation mark number two is for let's say second or if you, if you wish to buy another bell push you can use the icon number four uh, so again you can pair up to four different transmitters with one uh, receiver um, you could have few different receivers around the home um, around your home so you can have one downstairs one upstairs um, paired with the same transmitter so if you've got only bell push for example if someone press the bell push you can be alerted downstairs and upstairs uh, or in your bedroom if you want um, so yeah so that's another option um, also very very useful so for um, for hard of hearing people is the mm, possibility to, to add a pad of your vibration pad on the back of the of the of this chime you've got pad output so you can buy additional um, vibrating pad on the cable uh, which you can place let's say under your pillow so it, and it will vibrate very strongly and to you know to alert you that um, someone is near the door or telephone signal uh, or telephone is ringing or um, I don't know sound sensor for example is triggered um, but what you have to remember that when uh, using the vibration pad um, the main unit has to be connected to the main socket it cannot be battery operated then because the vibrating pad takes much more energy so if when you're buying the um, vibrating pad you also need to buy power adapter which you just connect on the top um, I think on our website when you buy a vibrating pad and a power adapter you can get a better price or also we, I, as far as I remember we've got like a bundle so you can buy chime with uh, extra power adapter and also with vibrating pad um, which I think we've got this on our catalog as well um, yeah you've got uh, on page number 41 you can buy a bed shaker which is this vibrating pad which I mentioned plus power adapter adapter product called for that is combo page number 41 okay um, we also have something a little bit more portable um, so if you want to have a receiver in your pocket or if you wish to have it on your belt um, we also have a pager so that's a pager it works exactly the same as uh, Chime 300 so it will give you the um, small lights they're not that bright like the, the big one but you can see which icon was activated it will alert you by the sound as well plus, ad plus additionally it will vibrate on its own as well so you don't need to add an extra vibration pad this unit is battery op operated as well uh, using two AA uh, batteries um, when you're buying this on our website it comes with the bell push so you will get set like this so uh, you can it, and it will be paired with the bell push so again bell, uh, bell push can be installed near your front door when someone is pressing the bell push you will be alerted through this small handheld or you can put it to, to the pocket uh, pager okay uh, reset button we've got this in front of, uh, of the on the front panel here so if you want to stop the vibration and sound just press the the button and it will automatically stop um, you can have uh, both at home so you can have one bell push uh, pager and um, chime 300 receiver uh, all connected together so pay bell push will send the signal to the pager 
and also to the chime uh, receiver. Um, so you can have this downstairs and let's say if you go into the garden you can take the pager with you. You can clip it to your belt like that and then you can be sure that you will be able to hear the sound if someone is um, uh, near your front door. Okay, so that's um, that's portable portable pager. It's on page 37, and the product code for this like a set so uh, belt push plus pager is uh, 475. So echo vibrating pager receiver and belt push. For more information, again go to our website or just look at this. Um, uh, and this um, catalog. Uh, on page 40 you will find a full basic set with additional power supply and the um, uh, bed shaker or vibrating pad. So again if you want to have this bundle it's on page 40 and the product code is 476. Um, and that's it, I think. On the page 41, 42, you've got uh, some small accessories in our catalog. Uh, so the accessory which we mainly sell, um, you know, as a, as a parts replacement. So the first one is our under chin headset, one one code. Um, the next one is which I mentioned already, pager. Uh, sorry, um, vibrating pad with power adapter, product code COMBO uh, then ECHO iLoop QR neck loop that's the neck loop which you will be able to use with ECHO LINK PRO radio link 2.4G um, and personal listener MINITECH PRO for MINITECH T you need uh, MINITECH T neck loop, slightly different to that one uh, it's also available here on page 42 uh, you will get a code there and also we've got small Stubby microphone product code 104 small Stubby microphone will be used by, with the personal listeners uh, the next page order form so if you wish to order uh, using this form just please fill the all um, empty um, spaces here um, 44 is VAT exemption uh, exemption certificate so if you are eligible for VAT exemption make sure you will put your name here address and sign and, and put the date um, also make sure you understand um, uh, that you're responsible to, to for, for signing this this certification okay so that's number 44 and the 45 46 we've got our terms and conditions so again make sure you understand and um, and then 47 uh, understand our terms and condition and you are familiar with them okay you will find everything about warranty returns gdpr payments and etc yeah um 47 cancellation forms so if you want to order over our website um online or through this catalog you've got 14 days um cancellation period so if you want to cancel your contract you have to give us a ring within 14 days to inform us uh, that you wish to cancel it and then further 14 days to return the equipment um, so that form is to notify us that you want to um, or you wish to, to um, cancel the contract okay um, then the product should be sent by you through uh, post or courier is up to you really how you would like to return it and the last page you've got a few information about our telephone numbers um, website um, emails uh, so that's it I think um, hopefully this video was very useful for you so it was quick uh, maybe not fully detailed uh, however just hopefully gave you the idea what is what how it works and uh, what is the difference between some of the devices or um, products um, so yeah thank you very much for today um, if you've got any ideas what would you like to know more or if you've got any questions um, uh, please make a comment on just below this video okay 
also I will ask you to subscribe if you can uh, so every time when we will get some new videos you will be notified and you will see yeah, that's the new video which uh, which we made for you um, and that's it for today uh, like I said any question go to our website www.heforyou.com or give us a ring or 0161 480 yeah and yeah just give us a ring we'll, I'm sure uh, me or my colleagues will be able to help you or assist you with, with any choirs. Okay, thank you very much and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye bye